what would happen if we just allow all this ratchet stuff to, that keeps going on in this community? What would happen if we just let it burn? It's Boo Fam. Peace and blessings. This is Derek Raku Moore. And um, this video is going to be kind of like a rant. Um, I'm not really, I'm, I'm trying not to make it a rant. Um, but I really want to go in here and I really want to talk about something that is, you know, I thought was a little disturbing. Um, and let's just jump right in. Okay. Um, I was reading the Monaghan report. And for those of you who don't know what the Monaghan report is, uh, basically I can't remember what the, who, which president this was, this occurred under, but basically um, from my understanding, it was around the 1960s or so when they were having all these, you know, riots and everything. Uh, one of the presidents of the United States went ahead and had uh, commissioned, you know, um, commissioned some individuals to go ahead and do a report. You know, every time they go ahead and they want to create a policy or something, they call themselves going to do a report. A report. Um, pretty much just like they're doing right now in regards to the whole um, ideal about reparations. They, they want to put together a report, right? And um, anyway, the Monaghan Report, basically, they were trying to understand why was the black community, why is it so impoverished? Why were they so, you know, the black community, why were they so disenfranchised? Uh, why was there so, you know, um, so many issues going on within the, the, the black community? Um, and what they found, and I'm paraphrasing, and I will put the link down below so you can read it yourself. What they discovered was that when other cultures, basically when they immigrate to this country, a lot of times what occurs is that Historically, it's usually the men within that, you know, within that, that community that will go and secure certain areas or secure certain, you know, resources that they feel that their people need. Okay. Um, and they would basically come back and they'll sell that sell that to their, you know, sell these goods, sell the, you know, these resources or whatever it is uh, to their people. And from that exchange, basically what occurs is that they end up building a marketplace. Um, from that marketplace, the marketplace becomes a store, a grocery store, whatever the case may be. Um, eventually, that's how they begin, you know, that, that exchange occurs, it keeps bouncing, the money keeps bouncing within their community to the point that they're able to, you know, secure businesses, secure their own banks, and for the most part, secure their own community. As a result of that, they're able to, you know, exclude and, and for the most part, dictate whatever they want to occur within their community, all right? If you don't believe me or you know you, you find this hard to understand just go visit the Hispanic and Latino community go visit um, Asian community okay um, go visit you know you know where in Detroit we have the the Chaldean and we have the Arab community up there in Dearborn Dearborn Michigan go visit those areas and you'll see that basically every culture that has every every group every you know group that has come here they that has immigrated here this is what they've done this is the reason why you can go in those areas and they you know you see signs written in their language um, all over the place okay um, you 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 know you have to conduct business in their language based upon their cultural standings perspective the whole deal okay and like I said you know they can exclude they can include they can do whatever they choose to within the bounds of their community all right um, but the Monaghan report it revealed that 
That wasn't the case for black people in this country. And the reason why, which most of us already know, our ancestors didn't immigrate to this country, okay? And what I mean when I say immigrate, they did not choose to come to this country in order to make a better future for themselves and their loved ones. Our ancestors were brought here, okay? Our ancestors were taken from their homelands and they were brought to North America, brought to this country, all right? Then on top of that, after being brought to this country and forced in, you know, forced to work as, you know, slaves, um, you know, the whole history and everything after the emancipation and, and, you know, the reconstruction of the, uh, of the, the country and, and then the you know we go through the Jim Crow laws and all I mean all this okay when our ancestors you know our most recent ancestors our grand you know great grandparents and um, great aunts and uncles when they went ahead and they migrated to the urban areas especially to the northern region um, it was really to escape the brutality that was occurring within the southern part of the country or wherever part of the country they were in okay um my parents or my 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 um great grandparents and so forth um and my great my grandmother my great aunts and uncles and what have you that's why they went ahead and they left that's why they you know left the south to escape the brutality, to escape the lynching and everything that was occurring in the South, that was occurring in Mississippi, Memphis, that whole, you know, region, that Delta region, okay? Um, and that's why they, you know, they end up settling in Michigan, settling in Illinois, you know, in Chicago and Detroit, so forth and so on. And from talking to other people I know, there's the same thing, similar thing happened, you know, with people who settled in, Philadelphia, people who settled in, you know, the in New York and, you know, California, all these different areas. OK, so that was the reason why our ancestors went ahead and they migrated to these other regions. But in the process of migrating, they didn't establish any kind of economic group, mainly because the needs of our people could not be met by us, okay? What I mean by that, and to kind of give you an example, it's like, for instance, um, let's take the Hispanic Latino community, for instance, okay? We're going to say people who migrate here from or immigrate from Mexico, okay? There's certain types of foods that they're used to eating. Um, you know, and I'm not, I'm not being stereotypical when I'm saying this, but there's certain type of foods that they that they're used to eating. There's a, a, a you know, and I know for a fact, uh, there's certain type of corn that they'll eat. You know, certain type of you know um, beans and meats and what have you that they eat. That if you went to an American um, grocery store, you're not going to find them. Okay, this is the reason why they have, you know, now they all have these Hispanic, Latino, you know, sections, but they still don't basically, they don't provide the things or the foods that they're used to from their own, you know, from their own country. Um, and this is part of the reason why they have their own meat markets and all this. All right. When our ancestors went ahead and migrated to these other regions, let's say, Hey, I'm used to having, you know, we were used to eating a certain type of meat in the South. Well, if we wanted to go ahead and get that same kind of meat, we could just go to someone outside of our community. Okay. Um, and that's for the most part, that's usually what we had to do. We go to somebody outside our community. So for instance, if they wanted a hog. They didn't go to, you know, they didn't go to someone who was within the community that, that was raising hogs. No, they had to go to someone outside of the community in order that, in order to get that hog. All right. Now, the difference of what is going on when that occurs is that whatever money in, in, in the, those, 
you know, like I said, those cultures that basically they go in here and they immigrate here. When they go in here and they're buying produce or whatever, you know, produce, foods, or whatever the case is from their own people, then the money that they have is basically bouncing around within their community. It is forced to bounce around in their community, okay, at least five times. But because our ancestors were not able to, they didn't immigrate here, so they weren't able to establish those same kind of economic careers. When we wanted that same kind of meat or that same kind of whatever it was that we we're used to getting from the South, and you get it from out, someone outside of the community, that our money basically doesn't bounce at all. So there goes our economic foundation it is already basically it's already gone. All right. This is part of the reason why that cycle exists, that economic cycle of impoverty or impoverished, um, you know, mindset and everything. This is part of the reason why it exists. OK, this is what the Monahale report was going in revealing. Now. Because of this occurring, because of there not being a, a strong economic base and we're not able to establish it. And, and understand, this is not to, this is not to say that there weren't individuals within the community that did not try to build something, that did not try to establish it. But unlike I was saying, if you compare it to immigrants who basically come here and they're, you know, they're they're basically they're forced, not physically forced. But because of them going in here and buying from each other, they're able to go in here and force their dollar to bounce within their community. Compared to our ancestors, our dollar is going in here has already been out. It's already it's already jumped out of our community, and now we got to go in here and try to find bring a way to bring it back in. Because of it being that way, and, and like I said, there goes the economic foundation. It is already is gone. And with there not being any economic power, there goes your, and like I was saying, historically in immigrant um, communities, it was the man who going ahead and do this, okay? It was the man who went ahead and established these kind of quote unquote kind of like trade routes, okay? Modern day trade routes within their community. Within our community, that didn't occur. And again, like I said, I, I find it interesting. And, and, and if you go back and you look at, go back and look at other communities. If you go visit these other communities, you'll see. If you go in front, I mean, kid you not. If you went to right now, you go to the Italian community, you'll find, if you see like, uh, for instance, you go to the Italian community, you'll go to their delis, okay? Or you go to their pizzerias. You'll see a picture on the wall that the pizzeria was started by my great great grandfather. Okay, if you go to, like I said, go to Hispanic and Latino communities right now, you'll see marketplaces or you'll see little stores that are packed with all their produce and and all these things. They're not going to these grocery stores. Yeah, you'll find a few people who go there and all that, but they'll you'll find these stores, their little stores that has all their natural, all their foods, all the things that they are used to seeing within their country, you'll see it at their store. And you'll see that store basically, basically growing, okay? Basically full because it's providing for their needs. We don't have those same kind of stores, okay? We don't have those stores. And this is the reason why we have to tell people, oh, you got to support this. You got to support this. You got to support this. OK. So the thing I'm finding interesting about all this is that basically it keeps it, it, it basically it keeps reminding me of something that I stated before. Those of you who followed who followed this, you know, been following this channel. Uh, you know, I've stated before, why should we go ahead and try to save, you know, why should we try to save them? Stop trying to, you know, save them. 
okay? Um, because of the wasted effort, because of the wasted energy. Um, stop trying to go ahead and save because salvation cannot, salvation cannot be given away. People have to go in here and save themselves. I've stated this before. But now when I'm going here and I'm looking at that and I'm stating that, this comes to mind. And I get to thinking about this. And I'm, I'm like I said, I read the monitoring report and I'm sitting up here and I'm thinking and I'm like, wow. And it's, you know, it keeps coming to mind. Our ancestors did not come here. They were brought here. And when I think about that, and I think about the fact that, again, our ancestors were not, they were brought here. They did not come here. What that simply means is that Part of the reason why we're having this ratchet behavior, this ratchet, you know, uh, uh, culture that is just steadily eating and, 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 and bringing, you know, and deteriorating our quote unquote community is because African men who were brought here were not brought here to be fathers they were not brought here to be husbands they were not brought here to be kings or a prince they weren't brought here to be priest okay Let's put it in context African women who were brought here were not brought here to be mothers you weren't African women were not brought here to be the wife or be a wife or be a queen. No. You're not brought here to be priestesses. You weren't brought here to, to do any of these things. African men and women were enslaved and brought here to produce wealth for another group of people. We keep saying our ancestors were enslaved, but I don't think the gravity of it really hit us. And it didn't hit me. I mean, it was like I said it and I kept saying it, but I don't, but I don't think it really hit me until like recently. And when it really, really hit me, that's when it began to become crystal clear. That's the reason why we have the problems that we have. Because this quote unquote community that we keep talking about, this community, we didn't build this community. This, this community is not built in my likeness. This community is not ran or, co or controlled or governed like I would govern a community. Think about what I said. All the immigrants that have come to this country, it is the men who established a certain, establish these roots, and from those roots, they go in here and they build, and they build their own community. We do not have that because the men did not establish it. Because we did not build this. This is a community that basically was created and is mirrored from the slave plantation community or the slave community in the slave community it wasn't the it wasn't the, the man who ran it it was the slave owner the plantation owner who ran it so does it now make sense why we're having the problems we have does it now make sense why we're having all these issues and why this ratchet stuff is going on does it now make sense? Because if it makes sense, then this is the reason why I've come to this conclusion. Why are we trying to save it? I, I don't get it. Why are we trying to save it? The only way we can save people within this community is for them to go ahead, come to the realization like we have and get out of it. 
get out of the community, get out of this area, or get out of wherever it is you're there, and go ahead and say, hey, come over here and let's build this community. Like people with like mind is the only way we can get out of this situation we're in. But sitting up here trying to go in here and save something that is not that we did not build, that's the reason why it's having the problems that they're having. Because we didn't build it. This, Like I said, this community has nothing to do with, this community has nothing to do with anything that has nothing to do with our culture, has nothing to do with our way of life. Now, so that we are all on the same page and understand what I'm saying, this is, again, it's not saying that we did not have people, we did not have people within our community, within this, you know, this community that tried to establish their own community. That's not to say that, okay, because we did, all right? All the different, you know, we, we, we had different people or, uh, throughout history that went ahead and tried to build their own community, okay? Why did they fail? That's something we can go in here and we can look at, we can study, we can, you know, go in here and focus on put them, you know, build a, a think tank around and, and, and try to go in here and figure it out so that we don't make that same mistake. But the thing, the point that I'm trying to get at is this right here. We don't have a maroon society. The reason why this community or this quote unquote community is failing, the reason why this quote unquote community does not support us, it is not, it is not support us, it's not, you know, they keep saying, hey, you're not protecting the community and all that kind of stuff, is because it's not our community. We are basically born into this, just like we were born into this slave plantation. It is the same thing. There is nothing different. The only thing different is that instead of us staying in an actual, living in an actual house, we got a whole big old quote unquote neighborhood. It ain't even a neighborhood. It's like they said, it's a hood. Okay. There is nothing there. All right. So I'm just saying, just, just asking, what if we went ahead and we did that? And before I go there, before we, before I end, okay, I want you to understand, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to tell anybody to go ahead and loot and to burn and, and destroy and all that kind of stuff. That is not what I'm doing, okay? What I'm saying is, so I make it clear, we did not build this community, okay? This community was not built by us. If it was built by us, we would not have. If it was built by us, women would go ahead and be mothers and wives. Men would go ahead and be fathers and husbands. We wouldn't have to worry about the whole ratchet stuff because we control it. You don't see the ratchet stuff in other people's communities. This is not to say that they don't have, quote unquote, you know, low lives or whatever the case is. That's not what I'm saying. OK, but what I'm saying is they control their community. They control the boundaries. They control what occurs within their community for the most part. They can dictate and say, hey, this is what we want to be aired in our community. This is what we don't want aired in our community. This is what we want broadcasted in our community. You will play X, Y, Z kind of music or X, Y, T or X, Y, Z kind of, uh, um, you know, movies and, and commercials and and so forth within our community instead of going to the church, instead of going to entertainers in order to go ahead and get our boats, our money, and everything else. We don't own this community. And since we don't own this community, why should we fight for it? So, it's just my thoughts. Like I said, not really trying to rant, but it more, more so is a rant. If you got any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to give me a ring. Until next time, fam. Tell me what you think. Head to Pooh. Peace. Don't pretend it. Maybe.